Okay, our learning target today is I can use my success criteria to edit and add detail to my writing. So we're going to continue what you guys started yesterday with Mrs. Miller, and we are going to use our success criteria that we have. We are going to use our popcorn word list that we've made, and we are going to use one of our old pieces of writing to check over and use our success criteria to make sure that we are good, that we grew our brains and that we're good to go. So before I even get started, I'm gonna make sure I have everything. I have my success criteria, which you guys are gonna have in Seesaw. You will not have it in um, like a hard copy like we do, but you're gonna check your success criteria in Seesaw. Then if you guys made one of these, I would like you to have your popcorn words out. If not, we have them in Google Classroom for you to use. And I've now added, we have list one, two. I've now added list three onto my popcorn words because it's time we start learning them and a lot of those words are in our writing. So I have three lists onto my popcorn word list now. I have my old, one of my old pieces of writing. The one we're gonna work on today was the one that's a time that you were happy. So we're gonna go back and edit the time that you were happy writing from last week. So I need you guys to have the time you were happy writing. I want you to have the popcorn word list available, your success criteria available. Then you need to have a pencil, an eraser, or a pencil with an eraser, and I need a dry erase marker to check off my list, but you don't. So, I'm going to start by just reading my writing. One night, I went to the hospital to have Ada Jo. I was so happy. And remember, this was, we were making sure in our writing that we had our who, who the characters were, our what, what the characters are doing, our where, where the characters are at, our when, when did this happen, and our how. How are the characters feeling? So I already made sure I had all of those in my writing. Today I now need to go through and I need to check my success criteria. So the very first one on my success criteria is my popcorn words are spelled correctly. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab my popcorn words and as I read, I'm gonna check. Um, I also went ahead and separated them by letters, just like yours is on um, in Google Classroom, so that it's easier to just go to that letter and check your popcorn words. So, one is not a popcorn word. Night is not I. I is a popcorn word. Now, here's a lowercase i, and remember, when it is an the word or I is by itself, it's always an uppercase. So I need to go back. I need to erase that and I need to change it to an uppercase I. Okay, so I fixed I, when it is not, two is a popcorn word, T-O, I spelled that right. The is a popcorn word, T-H-E, I spelled that right. Two again, I spelled that right. Have. Have is, with list three, have is a popcorn word. So you still have H-A-V-E. So I need to add an E onto that. Have. I, look, I did my uppercase I here, was W-A-S. W-A-S. Got that one. Um, so, S-O, S-O, and happy is not. Okay. So now I can go back to my success criteria and I can check off my popcorn words are spelled correctly because I did spell them all correctly. Now the next one is I have finger spaces. And remember, we put a finger space between every single word in our writing. So I need to go through and make sure I have a space between all my words. One, finger space, night, finger space, I, finger space, went, two, do I have a finger space between two and the? No, so I need to erase the. I'm gonna try and erase it really, really good so you can't, it doesn't confuse me when I have other things underneath it. Finger space, T, 
H E. One night I went to the hospital, finger space to have finger space Ada Joe, finger space I, finger space was so finger space happy. Okay, so now I did have some mess ups there. So I'm glad I went through and checked that. I have some finger spaces. The next one of my success criteria is I have periods. So remember, a period goes at the end of every sentence. One night I went to the hospital to have Ada Joe. That is a sentence, so I need a period at, on the grass line to end that sentence. I was so happy. That's another sentence. I need to make sure that I have my periods in there. So I'm glad I have this success criteria to help me go through and check to make sure that I'm successful and that I have everything I needed so that my brain grows. The next one on our success criteria is I have no funky capitals. That means that we don't have any letters that are up backwards, that we don't have any upper cases where they're not supposed to go. Um, we're going to go through and check that now. Now, I already, looking at my sentence, I already found a mistake. What does every sentence need to start with? An uppercase letter. So I need to change that to an uppercase W. One night I went to the hospital. I see a couple things here in hospital that I need to fix. So right here is an uppercase S. We don't have uppercases in the middle of a word. That's silly. So I need to change that to a lowercase. And then I also have an uppercase L right here. That should just be a lowercase L. Okay, that looks much better. One night I went to the hospital to have Ada Jo. Now this one's silly because she does have an extra uppercase in her name, but that is right. So I'm gonna leave it like that. I was, now it was a spell correctly, W-A-S, but that S is backwards. I need to change that. I, I was so happy. That P, that should not be an uppercase P. I need to change that to a lowercase. And sometimes when we get writing, we just forget and we make these silly little mistakes. And that's what is nice about the success criteria is it helps us go through and fix those little things that we accidentally messed up on. Okay. One night I went to the hospital to have Ada Joe. I was so happy. Okay. Did that. I, the next one is I have an uppercase at the start of my sentence. So on this paper, I have two sentences. So I need to make sure, and look at, I already corrected that when I did my funky caps. So I have an uppercase there. One night I went to the hospital to have Ada Joe. This is a period, so this is a new sentence. And I already have an uppercase there with the word I. So I'm good to go with uppercase at the start of my sentence. I added background and detail. So I need to go through and add background and detail. So like right here, I can add the road. I'm gonna label it road, er, ode, er, ode. Um, maybe I'll add up here because we're still outside. This is the sun, s-uh-n, s-uh-n. Um, all right, so now I'm gonna, you need to make sure that you go back and run, add background to your picture in detail. So I can check that off. I labeled my picture. Here's the road, here's the sun, here's me, here's my car, here's mom, here's a wheel, here's a window, here's the hospital. Oops, window, hospital. So I did label my picture so I can check that off. Now it says I colored my picture. I'm going to go through and I'm going to color it and you're going to see it finished on your slide today. You can see my finished example, but I'm not going to color it in front of you right now. And the very last one is I can read my writing. We added that today. You did not do that with Mrs. Miller yesterday, but it is so important that once you write something, you're able to read it. So, and honestly, as you're going through and doing this success criteria, I read my writing at least one, two, three, four, five, six, 
at least six times, but a lot of these, I read it more than once each time I was checking those. So you should be able to read it by the time you get here, but I'm gonna do it one more time so I can check that off. One night I went to the hospital to have Ada Joe. I was so happy. Okay, I can check off that I can read my writing. Now, I need to go and color my picture, You're doing my very best. And remember our coloring success criteria. You need to have no white spaces. You need to color inside of the lines. You need to make sure that your colors make sense. So in, once you do all of those things with your picture while you're coloring it, then you can check that off. You guys can see my finished example in Google Slides, but I can't wait to see the transformation in your writing from where it started to where it ends. So remember, we're using our success criteria, and yours is in Seesaw, to edit. That means fix all the things that needed to be fixed and add detail. So you're adding more to your writing, okay? So you're gonna do that, and it's to the piece of writing you did last week that was a time that you were happy. Have fun, I can't wait to see all of your writing.